All right, what's going on everyone out there on YouTube? And yes, Ruler, and welcome to a brand new review. And this time around, we'll be checking out a film that was sent to me reviewed by 88 Films, and you can pick this up right now on 4K and Blu-ray at all your favorite online retailers. It is a film from the year 1988, starring the legend Jackie Chan. It is the Hong Kong Kung Fu film, Dragons Forever. So going into this movie, you know, after now watching quite a few Shaw Brothers films and reviewing them for you guys here on the channel, going into a Jackie Chan style uh, kung fu film, martial arts film, is quite a different experience. And I picked that up quite quickly watching this film because the style between those Shaw Brothers films and films like this and I would assume other Jackie Chan martial art films are a much more faster paced, faster style uh, kind of martial arts. And that's kind of more of the pace that I'm into. Not like the Shaw Brothers films don't have some amazing kung fu and martial arts and choreography and things like that. I just like the faster pace, harder hitting uh, stunts and martial arts that are in this film and uh, other Jackie Chan style martial art films. So uh, Dragons Forever is quite a interesting film. You know, I was watching it and I didn't realize how funny it was going to be. I mean, I was cracking up throughout this entire movie. I mean, it is really funny. Jackie Chan and his two hoodlum friends absolutely crush it in this film. I mean, they really hit it nail on right on the hammer with the uh, with the comedy and the sometimes slapstick comedy. I think it's really, really well done and really boosted this film for me. So we basically follow Jackie Chan's character. Jackie Chan is a lawyer and one day he gets hired to do a case about this um, fish plant that is suing this chemical company for polluting the water near this fish plant. And Jackie Chan is representing the chemical company and he hires his um, hoodlum friends to get close to the owner of this fish, uh, fish uh, dispensary, if you want to say, to try and uh, get in cahoots with her, you know, make her fall in love with him and get some inside information about how Jackie Chan could win this case for basically her competitor who is polluting all the water near her uh, fish business. So along the way, uh, Jackie Chan... Uh, decides to try and fall in love with the niece of this woman who owns this fish uh, dispensary. And that's where the comedy ensues. It's just things go wrong uh, between Jackie and his friends. And it basically ends up um, with some comedy martial arts sequences that are quite funny and quite well done. I have to say I really didn't like it. You know, I was going into it not knowing too much about you know, Jackie Chan martial art films. I haven't, you know, martial arts aren't really a genre that I was familiar with. Now, luckily, I know a little bit more with the Shaw Brothers stuff, but I really did have a good time with this. It was really fast-paced and uh, really didn't lose my interest whatsoever. If you guys like buddy comedies and uh, martial art films, I think you really like this one. As for the transfer, the transfer is pretty, it's pretty good. It's a, Like I said, it's a brand new 4K from... 88 films. Uh, it includes the uh, the Hong the Cantonese version of the 4K, which is the 94 minute cut, and then it also has the English dub on it, and then they have the um, the Cyclone C cut, which I'm pretty sure is known um, for the Japanese market, and that's the longest cut of the film. I think it has like two scenes. Let me. Yeah, the, uh, the Cyclone cut is 98 minutes, which is a Japanese version. And then the Cantonese version is 94 minutes. So I just went ahead and watched the 94-minute Cantonese version. According to what I've read, the 99-minute cut just adds some scenes and things like that into the film. But the transfer is quite nice. Um, it's not mind-blowing or anything like that, but it, it does the job. The audio is quite good. Like I said, I watched the Cantonese version, not the English dub, but... Uh, the Cantonese sounded really good. I have a Panasonic 4K player, one of the better 4K players you could buy. And I was having some trouble with the subtitles in a couple scenes. Uh, according to what I've researched, uh, if you have Panasonic 
and you have a Panasonic 4K player. The subtitles may be a little bit messed up in some scenes towards the middle of the film, <coughs> but it catches up and everything else uh, is fine afterwards. But it seems to only be happening with Panasonic players from what I've been able to understand. And I know that 88 Films has been made aware of this problem, and I know they posted on the uh, Blu-ray.com forum that they're looking into fixing the problem with a future firmware update from Panasonic, hopefully. But if you have a Panasonic player, just note that uh, it did happen to me, and it seems to be happening to other people. So, But besides that, it was just a really uh, good transfer, good-sounding audio mix. Uh, you could tell it was probably not the highest budget movie, so you're going to get what you're going to get. But as the package, you got a really nice, once again, really nice hard uh, keep case here. Uh, 88 Films is releasing some more Jackie Chan films. Uh, I know they're releasing Police Story 3 next year. It keeps getting delayed, just like this film. Kept getting delayed, delayed, delayed. I know that film got is going to get delayed until early next year or so. But this is a really nice keep case with some really nice artwork. And inside, you have your fold-out poster, your thick booklet talking about the film. Very thick. It's like, you know, it's a good, I would say, I don't know, 80-page booklet about the film. And then you have some lobby cards, some promotional artwork from the film. And then inside you have your Blu-ray and your 4K. And then if you like it, you have um, reversible cover art with the original cover art. So, if you guys are into reversible cover art, you guys have that. Let me put this down so I can redo it. But this movie I had a really fun time with it. I'm looking forward to checking out Police Story 3. Those are uh, that trilogy of films I also haven't seen before. So, I picked up the, uh, the criterion of the first two. So, I'll be checking those out before I hop into that. But that won't be coming until, like I said, uh, early next year so I'm looking forward to that but just another really nice package from 88 films hopefully they keep this up and they release films that are in these nice editions so that is my review of Dragons Forever if you guys like this review please give it a thumbs up and as always you can follow me on Twitter twitter.com slash NESRoller22 hope everybody's doing well everybody had a good holiday have a good new year and I shall talk to you guys soon see you guys